Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Happy Monday, everybody, uh, and good evening, and welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, had a great weekend. Hopefully, you guys are all safe. Again, just amazing what we're still seeing uh, on the news, and hopefully, again, hopefully that will kind of die down a little bit. Um, but again, I, I, I think from the trading aspect, uh, again, the market continues uh, to be incredibly strong. Um, I, I think... Trump's comments on Friday um, really, you know, really lit the fuse to the fire. And, you know, we talked about it on the weekend update, how we literally went from market looked like it was about to roll over come Monday, right? And then next thing you know, we had this monster rally into the close on Friday. And it really set up one of the more uh, premium days that uh, I think, you know, we can, we can remember in a very, very long time. And, you know, if you just go through the last night, you know, last night's uh, video, which is uh, the weekend update. You can see how incredibly bullish I was uh, on this, you know, on this day today. And if you look at uh, the scoreboard today, it's, it, it will never uh, paint a picture how truly aggressive speculation capital uh, was really hitting the table today. Not only uh, in the equity market, but the options market as well. And every stock that was very, very strong that came out of channels that we talked about, you know, over the weekend, uh, Tesla, uh, Amazon, uh, you know, uh, Tulo, um, Netflix, uh, Zoom, right? ZS, like all these stocks that have these really big runs that confirmed or very, very close uh, to confirming. They just all went nuts. I mean, absolutely nuts. And the more, you know, the more evidence that you see that the world uh, is crazy unstable right now and it just it's un uncanny how the market continues to go higher the more you really appreciate how face value is much more important than being smart it really is I, again if you guys remember two months ago i just stopped thinking okay every day is its own animal the preparation for the next day is much more important than your opinion of what's going to happen three weeks from now and it's just the truth and i'm just trying to take as much evidence day by day uh, into a possible area that areas of the market could be confirmed, whether it's the five-day macro, 10-day macro, 50, 100, 200-day macro, but all these points of interest are very, very important to kind of put uh, an actionable trading list, not a watch list, okay? I, I hate that word watch list, and again, I'm guilty of using it as well, but the word watch list is, is basically you're sitting there and watching, like watching, it, it, you, you have to create a tangible, actionable list every single day that you know there's a high probability that it will confirm. And once it confirms, usually good things are going to happen. And if you look at the macro view, uh, how we close today, again, Dow Jones up 91, doesn't ring bells anywhere. We had days, back-to-back -back days last week when the Dow was up nearly, you know, nearly, what, 4% for the week. We had back-to-back -back days, five, six, 700 points. And you didn't see the aggressiveness uh, aggressive nature that we saw today, uh, especially in the tech stocks that we were really, really prepared for uh, coming in overnight. Uh, a lot of people were long uh, Tesla coming into today. I believe, you know, we had a shot at 850, 860. Uh, a lot of people were, were, you know, using that fuel to the fire, SpaceX and, you know, launch successful into space. So that had going for it. And today, you know, Tesla opens up right into supply, okay, into 860 comes in like 30 seconds, basically explodes for the rest of the day. We'll talk about all the individual pins. It wasn't just Tesla, it was just everything else. But again, what I want to make sure, we, you know, we really get the point across tonight into tomorrow. Again, this is not a, a euphoric run to the goal line, okay? It's very, very calculated. And again, if you look at the cues, we're still not out of the woods just yet. Again, it might not be, again, it might not be a big deal, but until we really get above the second linear regression line, there's always a possibility we gap up into, supp into supply tomorrow, roll over. And again, if you guys remember, this came out of nowhere. If you guys remember that two-day sell-off, right? That two-day sell-off that we had uh, last week, it could easily happen tomorrow. If you're not conscious of this area, and look at this area right here, it's just around this 235 area in the queues. If we gap up into the 235 area in the queues and we get rejected, again, look what happens when you hit supply, right? Look what happens when you hit supply. 
right? Look what happens when you hit supply. So be very, very conscious uh, of that 235 level on the queues. They have to build, they have to reclaim, and then all the areas of interest need to confirm, obviously. Um, if you look at the pivots today, incredibly strong. I mean, I, I think there's not really, not really else to say anything else. It's just incredibly strong. Uh, again, I, I woke up, you know, I woke up this morning. I looked, I go, wow, eight, you know, 855, that 835 is a monster area. And I said, look, there's gonna be a lot of happy people today. Uh, good morning. And then again, basically how the day started, uh, everything in tech just went nuts, just really, really nuts. Uh, for the exception of NVIDIA that didn't uh, confirm, uh, Alibaba didn't confirm. So let's talk about it one by one. Uh, again, congrats to the longs overnight. And I, I put a couple of different ways uh, for all you guys who did not come in uh, long with any type of exposure in Tesla. I go, here's some levels of the day. 860 got rejected three times, right? So that was the, th the pre-market area that really needed to reclaim. If the bulls can reclaim that 866 of supply, right? That was the last supply in the 60 minute channel. Macro looks like 890, 890, obviously 900 uh, for the extension. Uh, for aggressive traders, uh, 846, just in case there's a wash, okay? Uh, at, the, at the beginning of the day, 846 is a rising support. Uh, if it goes through and rebounds, that's me a good value there. That trade was for experience only. So I tried to give kind of both sides uh, of the ledger, kind of both angles of how to play Tesla today. But once it broke, you know, once it broke that 860 level and, you know, it really did very, very well. So here was Tesla, right? Here was Tesla. It gapped right into this 860 supply. You see this th three times? This is what I meant by uh, 860 was the high here, 860 was the high here. And it sat around here, sat around here, sat around here, and just absolutely exploded. Uh, took out the pre-market high, 865, took out 870, and uh, there was a, there were plenty of other trades here. We got long here at 83. Uh, there was a rebound buy at 80. Um, some good action, I mean, really, really terrific action. The stock traded to uh, as high as the 903, uh, 899 in the regular hours. Congratulations. I, I think the stock tomorrow probably sees uh, 910, right? 910, 915. Again, you started seeing crazy aggressive call buying today uh, in the weeklies of the 900s, the 920s, the 950s, the 1,000 weeklies, weeklies. This is not even just uh, you know, for monthly, is it weekly? So again, uh, the, the way to play Tesla uh, for tomorrow is any dip into rising 60 minute support. That's the area of interest or obviously a break of the opening range uh, high. So monster move on Tesla. Congratulations to all you guys. Uh, Square broke out today. Beautiful chart on, actually, excuse me, it didn't break out. It's about to break out, but beautiful channel here. Uh, 82 is a sneaky area on the 60 minute. 82.35 needs to reclaim for macro. Uh, here was here was uh, Square, right? So here was Square right here. Here's the whole 82, 82, 32 area. You know, traded up to 83, 40s. Uh, I still like it for tomorrow if it can start building a new base above this uh, 84. So dollar and change move uh, on Square. Uh, it gets, it got a lot better. It got a lot better really quickly. In the video, I still like this area here. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't trigger. Baba didn't trigger. Uh, Amazon, and, and here's the here's the most amazing part. This is when you know you've seen everything. This morning you wake up, and I saw the upgrade right on Morgan Stanley. I go, ah, right, that's cool. You know, that's cool. It's, you know, it looks like it's going to go higher. Uh, and then you see a headline come in that they they access the debt market, the five, ten, fifteen, twenty year. And I'm like, now officially you've seen everything. The company with the most money ever, right? The richest dude in the world ever needs to raise money. But again, they trap shorts really, really quickly pre-market. And again, Morgan Stanley upgrade 2445 needs to reclaim and build. Uh, any close above 2456 is bullish, should go to 2500. Uh, here's Amazon, right? So here's the 20, uh, 2445, right? Here's the 2445. Uh, and the stock went to uh, 2477. I still think it's going to go to 2500 tomorrow. Uh, too low again, uh, 199 rejection twice on daily needs to build. Here was too low, right? Here was too low. Again, you can see a very, very busy day. Uh, technology names is super aggressive today. So here's the 199 macro, five day, 199 five day, and it went to uh, almost 203. Uh, ZS was the biggest monster, not named ZM, right? So ZS, uh, 9850, 99 uh, needs to build, and ZS went just ballistic, right? So here is the whole... 98, 90, 
uh, 99 area just absolutely exploded. I caught a piece of this trade, but boy, boy, I didn't think this was going to happen. So uh, monster move, absolutely monster move. Uh, and then you had the next crazy one. Well, actually, snap. Uh, again, not that big of a move, but I like. I still like the snap. 1935, 1940 uh, needs to build. Here is snap again for all you guys who are still long snap. Again, not a, you know not a horrible move. You know, went to 960, but again, it's not going to be a Tesla. It's not going to be. Uh, you know, it's not going to be a Netflix. Uh, ZM went nuts, absolutely nuts. Uh, 185. I thought it was going to. I'll be honest with you. I thought it was going to stop at 188, 189. Okay, and they report tomorrow. Uh, 185 needs to build experienced traders only. So he, I really thought ZM was going to stop at like literally one. You know, here's here's the pivot here, right? Here's the pivot here. Uh, this 185 area. So. I thought it was going to stop here at this 188, 189. It just went through it like it wasn't even there. The first candle went to 195, and then the damn thing went to 206. So crazy. I mean, just absolutely crazy move. Um, crazy move. So Amazon, big move. Uh, too low, uh, big move as well. Uh, again, what can I mean? What can you say about Tesla? Best stock ever. Uh, best stock ever. 193, going nuts. 890 on deck. And then 900 on deck. I go and I, and I asked, you know, I basically asked her, I goes, everybody good? And it's just, it's just amazing. It's amazing, uh, crazy moves. Uh, then Netflix woke up, right? Netflix woke up, uh, 422.50 needs to build. However, there's a supply zone at 43.75. Macro needs to reclaim uh, 24 to retest 427 and 431. And, you know, it, it did exactly that. You know, it did exactly that. Uh, again, beta was just going one after another after another, and it stopped right at 427, right? Took out the 422 and a half and traded right to supply a little tad under 427. Good job for all you guys uh, who caught that as well. Uh, again, just one, it really was one after another after another. Uh, again, very aggressive day. I mean, I mean, what are you going to say? I mean, really, what, what are you going to say? It's just one of those days that uh, everything just really went uh, absolutely nuts. Um, here, 425, then it went to 427. Uh, I wrote, you know, 900 on deck, no symbol needed. I, I know a lot of you guys just did incredibly, and when people say ever, it's basically we saying best stock ever. So, you know, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal moves today. Uh, I think going into tomorrow, um, look, I, I obviously want to watch Tesla for any dips uh, into rising support, but, but I want to watch the names that didn't participate today, but are very, very close to reclaiming major supply zones. So like shop, for example, it's very close. You can see it's very, very close here. Uh, shop I like for tomorrow, if it obviously if it confirms. Um, I like Alibaba, right? If it reclaims the 10 day moving average tomorrow. Um, I like Nvidia, again, that rested today. If it can reclaim uh, the five day moving average, I like that as well. Um, I like Apple, you know, I like Apple coming out of this range here. Maybe it starts to extend. Maybe Boeing's probably in, like a day away. Uh, from waking up, you know, Facebook looks, you know, it looks okay. You know, I'm not a big Facebook guy. I trade it from time to time, but that looks okay as well. If it could start reclaiming this whole, this whole channel here. So the market looks good. You know, obviously at any point, um, you know, we can get a curveball. Um, there could be or more news of riding. And it, again, it's just, it's so sickening to see, um, so much injustice in the world. We talked about on the weekend update that people are really protesting in peace, okay, uh, to try to really make some waves. And then you see people robbing the Louis Vuitton store for 85 pocketbooks. I mean, where in the playbook of, you know, protest is that? That's just, you know, that's just insane. So uh, hopefully this crazy world, this crazy year of 2020, kind of takes its foot off the gas a little bit, let us breathe, <laughs> let us breathe a little bit and kind of live life normally, whatever the word normal is. But until then, guys, stay safe, uh, pray to God, have faith, and with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Great job today. I'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.